absolute devastation. Neighbors here in Haida Hills are beginning the cleanup just hours after a storm rips through the area, leaving some homes with nothing. They said we could not go in to salvage anything. From the air, the damage is clear. This drone video showing the massive path of destruction in Haida Hills. Wicked storms tearing through Friday night, nearly leveling Susan Despina's home. Yeah, it's devastating because it's your whole life. It's everything you have. It's all the things that make you comfortable, that make you want to come home from your job every day, you know? <laughs> Despinez, her daughter, and her one-year-old grandson were grocery shopping. They debated leaving the baby at home with Susan's husband. If we would have left him home, you know, they would have been in the living room, and that's where the roof is right now. Wind tore through the Bellevue neighborhood, collapsing houses, uprooting trees, even overturning trucks. Richard Bryant was in his hallway when the glass in his office shattered. He and his wife made a dash for the basement. The way that the wind was blowing and the, and the sounds and everything that was going on, we thought for sure that the house was going to go. As Mother Nature calmed, neighbor Lisa Spencer jumped into action, checking on her neighbors. I was calling and calling for her. He kicked the door in, and then we were like, Camille, are you, are you okay? And she's like, yes. Yeah. She's like, I'm in the bedroom. The downstairs is flooded, and there's just nothing but insulation covering the hole. Miraculously, no one was hurt during the storm just left picking up the pieces. Just start all over again. <laughs> and it could have been worse. Now the debris field around this area is massive. Broken boards, roofing nails absolutely everywhere, as well as personal effects like car seats and strollers. Sarpy County officials are asking you to please avoid the area while this neighborhood recovers. In Bellevue, Sarah Feely, KETV News Watch 7.